out here, right? Um, so on the program, you'll see that I'm supposed to be presenting um, the next session and do the demo, but my colleague Billy is going to be taking over and taking you through the more technical things. Um, I'll give input here and there, but he's going to, to lead on this. So what we're going to be doing is just going into a little bit more on the tech um, side of Ship Immortal, um, just to give you a, a, a recap overview. But then we're going to demo the shipper share components, and that's the reselling um, and sharing of the data that we've made or we've enabled through the system. Um, he'll also touch on the Shipper Jabber component of Shipper Mortal that is available um, you know, directly on the network. <coughs> Okay, hello everyone, my name is Billy. Um, thank you for this opportunity. I know we don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna shoot through the slides. We don't have a very long presentation, but we will do a live demo and see if this works. Okay. Um, so first we're gonna start talking a bit about um, Shikamoto. Shikamoto is um, well, our first installation. Uh, started in 2015 and it was in a little, well Tandy spoke to you about it a bit yesterday, it was in a little um, rural area. This is where it is on the map, you'll see there's three points indicated here, you've got your base station, you've got a repeater and you've got a receiver at the other end. Um, the distance, distances are a couple of hundred meters between them, so I think 150 meters between the first two and probably about 300 meters between the last two. And um, for the next slide, I'm going to show you um, something that I was fortunate enough to attend the training these last couple of days. And so in the next slide, um, you'll see that we're, we're using the box RF. Um, <laughs> so we haven't used it at Shikamoto because I haven't been back yet. But what, I, what we did was we punched in the values and decided to take a look at our line of sight at Shikamoto and the, see the results we find. Um, obviously, I've blanked out the exact location for the privacy of the community. And this is what we found, that we have a direct line of sight. And um, to quote Professor Hermano, that when it comes to line of sight with, bot with a bot RF report, no is no and yes is maybe. <laughs> I love that quote. Okay, so pretty much we know we've got a line of sight because we've set this up and it's, and it's working and the um, system here proves that, that this is actually working. Um, I also ran a bit of a report um, and I don't know the actual figures. Okay, I need to express something here. I'm not actually a network engineer. I run a business. And so it's my guys who are the, the clever ones that have been setting this up and, and all of that. So um, I learned a heck load on this, on this um, training. I now know how to convert watts to um, decibels and things like that. So the, the values that I've used here are just estimates of what could be, but what we can, what we are going to do is we're going to go back and use the information and test to see are we over engineering our solution, are we, um, you know, causing a massive signal disruption um, in the community because we've churned up too much power. Okay, and this leads us to our next um, illustration. So we're using our, our equipment is all there. Um, we're using a Microtech router. This over here is different to um, Shikamoto. It's something called Shikashet, which we're going to uh, demonstrate. Um, here's the aerial. I know now what kind of aerial this is. Omnidirectional. Um, and we've got the Microtech router over here. And we have a 3G modem. And now we're going to demonstrate 
is um, Shika she actually working? But before we do that, um, I was asked the question, why are we doing Shika Share? Now, very often, as a businessman, um, when a client tells us, you need to build this, um, when we have a, an insane deadline, we don't go into the wires, we just get it done. So, I'm going to hand over to Tandy, who will explain um, a bit more as to why we're doing this. So, Shikoshin came um, a little bit later in, in timelines compared to when we started looking into Shikomoto and the information network itself. And <clears throat> part of, part of the, the, the reason that we got looking into data and, and costs of data was, um, if anyone knows about data pricing in South Africa, it's, it's one of the most expensive um, areas in, if not the entire continent. Um, we pay, uh, we're trying to work out, and the average data, mobile data costs, um, you're looking at about 50 cents a megabyte, um, in that's in rand, South African rands. Um, Obviously, the more data you buy, the cheaper it gets, and a good average cost for a, a large, large amount of data is about 14 cents a megabyte. Um, compare that to data that we purchased um, just a few days ago here in Nairobi, um, we worked it out to 3.5 cents a megabyte is what we pay for. Um, so 3.5 South African cents a megabyte, compared to our cheapest rate at home, which is 14 cents. So it's, um, yeah three times more expensive. So having said that, we um, working in the communities and, and looking at Shikamoto, one of the biggest challenges was, well this is great, but it's still the access to data and the cost of data is one of the biggest challenges. So we came up with, well we, we started thinking about the solution and with Shikashare, you can buy the data in bulk so spending the minimum 14 cents on yeah, 14 cents a, a megabyte, and then through the network reselling or sharing that data among your peers, customers, and so we see this as a bit of a commercial um, component to uh, maintaining the system because you can you can set your prices, you can resell data. Um, we see this as a community hosted thing, so uh, an individual would then take ownership of the, the system. We already have um, someone we're working with in Valiza who's going to be um, setting, you know, pushing out the system. And, and yeah, so that's how we see it working, and yeah, so why we decided to go into this. Okay, and then another aspect to this before we hop onto the demo is We've also got a chat client going with Shikamoto. So we're using a Java client, and you get uh, a free app for Android, which uses the sort of Java protocol as well as one for iOS. And um, yeah, so that's available for the people to chat amongst themselves, send a couple of pictures, things like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's do some demo. Seeing the error messages I'm seeing. Um, okay, so I am now physically connected from my machine to the Microtech router over there. And you'll see that I have a user set up. Um, I'm just showing you under the hood how this is actually all working. We also have a voucher system set up, um, but that doesn't run on Mac, and I'm on Mac, so we're not going to demo everything. But just under the hood, you've got this voucher system. I've set up a user called Bob um, with the surname Bobby, and Bob has a 150 meg limit. Here we go. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my network from AIS over here to Shikamoto. So, I'm going to put in Bob and Bobby. Okay, success, done. So now let us go, now I'm logged on to Shikamoto. So before I show you anything, let me just explain this. Um, this over here is the wireless, the, the, the receiver that I'm connecting to. It is plugged into this Microtech router. Um, a few days ago, I knew nothing about all this stuff, by the way. Um, that's plugged into this, which is giving us our 3G from these guys, Safaricom. And um, thank you to Quentin for helping us because we, in our, in our dry run yesterday, we couldn't get this working and we'd forgotten that you actually need to enter a username and password on the SIM. And so we connected to the SIM this morning, did that, and now it's actually working. So we're getting the internet there, it's coming through here, and my phone is not connected. So let's see, let's connect to something here. Go to Safari, oh look, there's something called Liberator. I'm interested. Interested. There we go. So I am on the internet. Number. That's number, I suppose. Name. Oh. Gracias. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't enter a number there. Mr. Ocean. What's your email address? Uh, email address. So now you've seen Shikamoto, uh, Shika Shed actually working. Um, where's my Chris? I think that. So to find out more, uh, you can go to shikamoto.co.za. In fact, I want to actually show you quickly the Java client there. Um, it's right here. Okay. Got a user guide. User guide, we left out the iPhone users because we had 0, 0.000 iPhone users in the community. And this just pretty much explains how you set up on uh, your Java client. Okay. And then if I go back here. So yeah, you can go, you can go there and take a look. Um, we also invite anyone here that if you ever in Johannesburg and want to see what we're up to and how we've extended it, we've got more than one site at the moment. Um, come, come take a look at the site, see what we're up to. And, um, and then yeah, let us know if, um, if you know about a community where we can set up an installation and you know, test drive it even further. Um, also, as an outcome of this whole summit that we've been on, 
we're going to go back and revise things. You know, we're going to go back and look at what we did and do things better. So that's quite exciting. What we've also done, and this comes from um, everyone here, we've, we've had a bit of a chat, and we've set up a Slack channel. And the idea behind this is to for all of us to stay in contact and to um, have our own community, um, raise technical things, raise advice, um, how to do things, findings, guys don't use um, that aerial, it, it zaps TVs or, you know, um, just kind of advice and, and help from everyone. And so you're welcome to come and become a part of it. It's 2017cnima.slack.com. Um, if you want, give me your email address and we can set you up. And I think that's all. Thank you very much. I knew it on the time, basically. Anyway, uh, now we have the, the, the people from Rio Rhino Activity that are going to present their solution as well. Thank you, Tandy. Thank you very much.